Well, I'm quite old now, so there have been quite a few challenges. Uh, perhaps I can start when I was young. You know, I did my, I was born in Africa, Tanzania, but did my nursing in England. And at that time, uh, I found that was something I faced a lot. Not a lot, but quite frequently, racism. I would always remember there was one head nurse she just didn't like my face or me or whatever and it didn't matter what I did right or wrong I was always wrong and she also belittled me quite a lot so that was one of my probably first challenge as a nurse as an adult. In England I went to Montreal because I'm one of these people who likes to travel and look around and whatnot and Montreal I, I, I got the job before I came to Montreal so I had a job to go to and um, I had to learn French because I only had one year to learn French and I did learn French so I can continue working my job. Um, so that was a challenge, learning French, another language, plus working full time. Um, in Montreal I had wonderful time, the people were most of the time were excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, I also got my degree in nursing in Montreal and when I got my degree in nursing there was a job going off of for a nurse clinician and um, I didn't get the job even though I was qualified for it. So I challenged them and I went to the union and I got the job. And that made me uh, just join the union and I became the head re uh, representative for the nurses union in the hospital that I work. And I was there for about five, four or five years and then we moved to Ontario. Um, Ontario was, I was really surprised because it's an English speaking Anglophone um, most of the time and I found, I, I, I worked as a nurse of course as a, in private sector and public sector. Private sector was very, very interesting because you made so, all sorts of different, different types of people. It wasn't nursing, they were not sick people but there was a lot of promotion, health promotion etc and health and safety. Uh, but unfortunately I lost my job so then I decided okay so I went to the public uh, hospitals and there I found there was a lot of subtle racism mm -hmm. um, you know you can you, you one knows when somebody is being racist or discriminating yeah. so I found that one a bit challenging um, there were times it was hard Yeah, so there was a lot of subtle racism and it was always that I had to prove it to them that I can be just as good as them or even better. Um, they, um, and we lived in a small city at that time and um, my partner who was Caucasian and we would go and do some shopping or something. Not all the time, but once in a while we'll ask a qu I, I would ask some question and it, the person wouldn't even answer to me because he would, uh, he or she would answer to my partner, and I thought that was the worst form of racism I found because we were two or two different people, you know, because mm -hmm. we were not same color or whatever. I don't know. Um, and so then I lost my partner. He was killed in a car accident, and I think that was my probably the biggest, biggest, biggest challenge and I also lost my job about three months after he was killed in a car accident and lost my job. Um, so, so I just decided that that was enough for me and I just retired because I, don't, I didn't think I would be able to function as a nurse or whatever job I was doing after he was did that. And um, so, <laughs> and then this another challenge came was the insurance company I had to fight for them because I have post-traumatic stress disorder and I had to really, really fight for them. I had to get a lawyer and fight for them and they all, and anyway, so that settled. And so I have done a lot of dif different areas of nursing. I al we always volunteered, always, always, always volunteered. And um, even in volunteering at Life After 50, a couple of times I've been told they don't understand my accent and, you know, it's, it's become a, it's sort of just ignore it, you know, after a while you said, you know, is it worth getting stressed out? No. Um, as I say, I have met few challenges, uh, but, you know, but that's life.
a bet and it has made me a better person. Um, I have made decisions which have faced consequences as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent family and friends. They continuously su support me, care for me, love me, inspire me, and motivates me.